three panels comprised of the Philippines' best and brightest in the private sector, government, the UN, donor community, and civil society to talk about their experiences and lessons on innovating, on investing in disaster risk reduction and resilience, and how to bridge the silos of the private sector, academe, government, and civil society. And last but not least, we have eight teams from the 40 teams supported by the 2 Plus Innovation Labs. And these teams come from Northern Luzon, Central Luzon, the Visayas, and Mindanao. These eight teams will pitch their ideas and innovations to you all. Four organizations thought of supporting the efforts of government and civil society in terms of looking for innovations in disaster preparedness. So we have 40 all over the country. Uh, if you can see the dots, that's where they are located. And we provided seed funding, we provided mentorship and technical support. That took place for eight months last year, and we are here now to showcase the innovation. We have around 1,900 plus universities, public and private. If we gather them, okay, I think tank can be formed. Solutions can be faster. We can tap these great minds. Okay? We can tap all the students, their faculties. And if we have this, I think we will be a powerhouse on innovation. Um, invest in a culture of openness, uh, receptiveness to feedback, right? And this is what we do with our innovators and the project that we um, kind of support. Now, what is it that the government is doing when it comes to knowledge empowerment? We wanted the people and the community to become knowledgeable. And how is that being done? We're doing the community-based disaster risk reduction and management. Inside of that process, we are designing new solutions, testing these solutions, and trying to scale them. But as a women's empowerment organization, that's all centered on trying to create a more just world. Um, so for us, it's very much a, a process rather than a kind of a, a, the product that might come at the end of that. Partner kayo. Sa tulong nyo, kasama kayo, magagawa natin to. Possible! So our solution is a disaster preparedness simulator. The disaster preparedness simulator is a learning package composed of four different components. The most important is the virtual reality simulation of various disaster situations set in the Philippine context. Ang organisado, may kaalaman, at may kakayahang mamamayan ang pinakamabisang sandatan sa sakuna at kalamidad. Pag-usap po tayo. Marami pong salamat. Amote ang nagiging superfood sa panahon ng emergency at rice shortage. Um, resilient kasi itong crop na to sa drought, uh, pati sa matagal na sa continuous rains. whether they will strategically collaborate in order to create an ecosystem that will allow them to thrive.